Okay, hi everyone. So, we have uh, looked at our artist, Jesper Johns. He creates these really cool artworks using uh, numbers and fonts. And what we're learning to do is we're learning to paint in this really nice painterly style here. Okay, painterly means that you can see brush strokes and you can see that colors are mixed and blended together. And we learn, you learn how to do that on your poster with the final uh, number on the right hand side. Uh, so you learn about blending and mixing the colors in. Not completely, you want to see parts, we don't want to mix all the colors completely. So you're going to choose a word, uh, it can be any word that you like and you're going to choose a color scheme as you can see we have color schemes going on this one is uh, all yellow yellows and greens and then we've got grays and whites in here this one here this one's not quite demonstrating the the technique as well it sort of patches almost almost looks like camouflage what we're really trying to do is actually blend um, the painting. So this is a really good example oh, and some other ones as well. So any word that you like, you can choose any layout that you like. I'd really like you to try and look further than just doing rows. Here are some of the um, pages for planning. So we're going to do a plan. We're going to do um, two plans for your work. So as you can see this person has chosen the word ocean and we do a plan to we do two well this person's done three but we'll just do two this year two plans um so that we have two options one might be better than others okay and we're going to try and do one you might do one that's just a straight word and then i want you to think out of the box and i want you to do a different kind of shape so you'll use the font to help you with your letters fonts and trait you can either trace or you can draw them freehand but we want to be looking at nice fonts uh, learning how to do that and then on this page you'll have a practice with your paint so you'll think about your color scheme and you'll practice painting in a expressive painterly way and be able to demonstrate your color scheme and demonstrate that you know how to paint this before you start your final 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 artwork okay Final artwork will need to be done on a better quality paper. Um, I have some in the class if you want to either get some. If you're in school, hopefully we'll be in school when we start painting us. That's the um, aim. Okay, uh, so use paper over your sketch sketchbook. If it's not big enough or long enough, you can tape it together. That's fine. Okay, so let's have a look at some other. Here's one where it's, they've done a row there and then they've done Netflix, so it's a square one. Okay, this person has been really creative. I think it says Aries, does it? No. I don't know what that says. Um, I think that's that way. Heart. So it says heart. So look at the color scheme she's chosen. She's been really creative, choosing a circle, dividing it up evenly, and then drawing the fonts on. It's really important that you draw the fonts on really neatly as they would be in your final artwork only have to paint two or three squares showing the painting style and the color scheme that you're going to use all right here's one with friends lots of different bright this person's chosen lots of different bright colors this was a color scheme here then they looked at maybe doing purples this one didn't work out and then they had a green area so this isn't a final artwork this is just planning it's demonstrating that you can paint in this expressive painterly way okay it's just demonstrating that you can come up with some different types of uh, plans and it's demonstrating that you understand the color scheme so you can use any kind of fonts that you like you don't have to use just a stencil font here's basketball if you have free spaces you can fill them with logos or symbols Egypt, all right, okay, nice blending and painting there. Right. And then these are some pages. So that's what you're going to do. So you're going to do two different plans. They can be on two different pieces of paper if you like, I don't mind. Um, I do not want to see two boring straight ones. I want to see two different plans. They will probably have 
different, they will, will be different words, they will be different fonts, okay, and try and be creative. You get graded on your creativity here. Are you just using a boring font? Have you put minimal time and effort into it? Or are you really taking your time to, to sketch out the font designs and show me that you can paint some of these? So be really accurate with your drawing of your, your outlines. So for example, if I was going to do a word, and I was going to do um, the word Egypt, okay, so E-G-Y-P-T, so that's five letters. So if I was doing the first one, I'd go, okay, this is 30 centimeters, and then this is 12, so that's 42 centimeters. So that means that I need to divide it by five. So five times eight is 40, right? So I'm gonna do them four, I'm gonna do them eight centimeters wide. So look, I'm gonna measure here eight. I'm gonna measure down here eight. Okay. First of all, I'm going to make my letter a bit longer than it is wider. So I'm going to make my letter 12 centimeters maybe. So I'm gonna go 12 there and 12 over here. Hopefully it can meet up. And I'm gonna join these up like this. Okay, that's the first thing that I'm going to do. This is a page where it's planning. It can, you can make mistakes, it's fine. So that's the depth of my letter, all right? And then I went, okay, it's eight centimeters here, and then I'm gonna go and do eight centimeters here. Okay, and then it's 16, all right? And then it's 24, and then I go eight, and we do it from the top. We've all done this in class before our measuring. So 8, 16, 24. And then we go 8, 16. And then we join them up. So I want you to be accurate. This is going to get graded. Your planning page gets graded on did you put time into rolling up your areas nice and their parallel lines, or did you just make it up and make it really messy? So look, okay, here we go. There's a little bit on the end, that doesn't matter. We don't worry about that, okay? E-G-Y-P-T. So now I would go into De Font and I would find a font that I liked and I would zoom it up and I would either trace it, okay? or that's probably the easiest way of doing it, or you can draw it by hand if you want to do your own font. But we really want to have like professional looking letters, so it would be good if you traced it. And trace that, that's one plan. The second plan I might do on a piece of paper, it might be a circle plan, it might be a pyramid shape plan, it could be a rectangle plan, okay? And might, you might add some um, images of symbols or fonts into it. All right, and then, you're going to paint at least three letters for each one, showing your color scheme. So once I've got Egypt written in there, I'm probably gonna paint Egypt with colors that reflect Egypt. Could be the flag colors, red, white, and black, with some grays. It could be um, sandy colors, you know, like sandy, goldy from the desert. Um, it could be colors of the Red Sea, lots of blue colors, okay? So you've got to paint three for each plan. Three of the letters, you can do the whole lot if you like, but showing me that you can paint in a painterly way. If you haven't watched a video in the assignment, you need to watch that, because it shows you how to do that. All right, okay, thank you, bye.